What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Welcome to What the Fuck News, Episode 3. I'm thinking, starting Episode 4, I'm going to give five news items, four of which I've actually found as real news items, and the fifth one I will have made up. And then people can guess which news item I have made up. And then the following episode, I will reveal the four real news items in the video's description box down here. Because sometimes it's really hard to tell which stories are true and which are not. I'm going to lead this episode's story with my favorite. Number one. Drunk woman attacks plane crew with prosthetic leg. Seems this drunk woman was badly in need of a cigarette, and staff on the aircraft told her, well, golly, you're not allowed to smoke um, cigarettes. You know, we've got rules and regulation. It's the law. So this woman, apparently, she slapped a little girl instead. Aircraft crew um, chastised the drunk woman for that. So the drunk woman took her fake leg and started beating the crew members with it. The crew members managed to struggle against this woman and take her fake leg away from her. After which, the drunk woman started using her good leg that was still attached to her and started kicking the aircraft crew. One of the crew members who was later interviewed said, it wasn't funny. The hell it's not! <laughs> News item number two. Conservatives stage an uprising, which is really not an uprising, in Utah demanding that the sheriffs, quote, take back, unquote, Utah from the homosexuals. One of these people in the so-called uprising said, and I'm going to quote, the homosexuals are shoving their agenda down our throat. Calling Dr. Freud, Dr. Sigmund Freud, your slip is showing. <laughs> Item number three is a serious what the fuck could she have been thinking? It seems this Catholic woman had filed for divorce, and she got lawyers to get the divorce um, paperwork and everything done. She finally, after about a year or so, finally got the divorce completed, finalized, and her marriage ended. Which upset her because she didn't know that a divorce would mean her marriage would be ended. So, she is suing the lawyers for not telling her that a divorce meant... She's no longer married. Now this story really makes me wonder. Seems an Indiana man was speeding, doing 85 miles an hour down the highway in a zone that was um, marked for 70 miles per hour maximum. So a police officer pulled him over, was writing him a ticket. Police officer noticed that this guy had a gun. And he also saw on his bumper sticker, this guy had a bumper sticker that said... If you can read this, you're in range. So when the police officer saw that the guy had a pistol who had later denied having a weapon in the vehicle, police officer told him to the occupant, occupant of the car that he pulled over to stay where he was. Police officer called back up and a flood of police officers came rolling in like oranges and they found 48 bombs in this guy's vehicle. Incendiary devices, more guns, and the plans for a nearby Navy SEALs facility where they train the meanest and the toughest Marines the United States produces. If I was that police officer, I would hand the guy back the Navy SEALs building plans and say, good luck with that, guys. You know, you know, let me see how, you know, your invasion of that facility turns out. 
What makes me wonder... This is just one guy with 48 bombs in his vehicle. How many other vehicles out there have bombs also that are not pulled over? And finally, news item number five, which makes no sense at all. Seems a pimp who had been forcing a girl into prostitution used his shoes to beat the girl and the girl's John because the John refused to pay after services and beat the girl so badly that she was bleeding from the ears and beat the John so much that he needed uh, corrective surgery on his face to make him look human again. He used his feet, uh, shoes, which were Air Jordans. And, of course, the pimp got a uh, hundred years uh, sentence in prison for second-degree second assault, which was his 20th. He had been convicted 19 times previously for assault. 20th is a charm, I guess. He is now suing the makers of those Air Jordan shoes because... The shoes are not labeled as potential weapons. That's right. He used his shoes as weapons and he is suing because the shoes are not labeled. These are weapons. You can use these as weapons. You shouldn't wear these because, by golly, they might be used as weapons. This is the person who used those shoes as weapons. And he wants a fucking label on them saying, These could be weapons. I don't get it either. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.